We welcome you here to Eastwood High School as we uh, get ready for a just a juggernaut of a game here. Final game of the season here in the Northern Buckeye Conference. Uh, Eastwood taking on Rossford and uh, Marty Ben. I got to tell you, there's a lot of things that have to happen for Rossford tonight if they want to uh, make it into the playoffs. And Eastwood, well, they're in. They're in. Right. There's a lot going on tonight. Um, seedings are on the line for Rossford. You, you, you got to win. Um, to have is there even? Close. There's still a chance for them, even if they lose tonight. I They're think they very, need. I think they need some help. And a, big a time lot. Help. A lot of things have to happen. I, you know, I've always thought in these situations you want to control your own destiny. Sure. You, you don't want it. You, you want it right here on the field. Leave it out there, and you know, if, if you win, you're in. And and I'm, what we're going to see tonight, folks, here is an absolute perfect night for football. It's a little chilly, probably 45, 50 degrees right now. But if you're playing football right now, you're in hog heaven because this is what football's all about. You're you're just relaxed. The grass field is perfect here at uh, Eastwood, and uh, and actually Eastwood hey, football, won. Football matters when it gets a little chilly like this. In uh-huh. fact, I turned on Sugar Ridge and I'm watching this nice buck chase two does across the field and I thought that's when the football is fun. It's right about the time the bucks are chasing does. It's a little crisp out there. You got to sure. put the jacket and some gloves on. That's that's football. Marty's always always talking deer here and, uh, and yeah, I'm sure you saw a lot of them coming out here tonight. Uh, Eastwood won the toss and they elected uh, they had elected Deferred. to kick. A little pooch kick, kind of pin them on the sideline and Wow. Oh, you got a – that's a live ball. That is a live ball. Oh, uh, they're going to say it went out of bounds before it was recovered. Boy, that is, that's, that is a tough, tough decision there to uh, – a gutsy one. But uh, – God, it looked like it just hit the ground and stopped. It did. And it, uh, it was inside, it looked like, too. Right. And if you can scoop that up in bounds, that's, that's a live ball once it goes 10 yards. And, and the uh, Eastwood people were all over that, too. They, they, they were all over that. Who's, who's going to break it first here tonight? And uh, you're going to see a lot. I think you're going to see a lot of uh, moving the ball around with uh, Rossford tonight. Kromenecker has a way of, you know, being able to uh, pass the ball in certain situations. And we've saw him, we've seen him just kind of break apart the middle a lot with his passing. Well, he's 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 fearless. I mean, he'll sure. throw the ball at any any level. You know, it, uh, a lot of guys. It, it, Young quarterbacks, they're they're really uncomfortable throwing go routes or just little hitches and things, and he's not afraid to throw it in the seam in the center. And uh, oh, wide open! Great job with his feet there to extend the play. Can't see who. Uh, pass was complete to Klotz. 19, Lucas Klotz. Lucas Klotz got yeah, that, and uh, that's one of them timing patterns again, you know. And uh, Klotz was wide open, right smack in the middle. Well, it's, it's a great job. Quarterback had some pressure, and it, uh, good good job on the check down and an outlet for a safety valve. Second five. Handoff inside, and uh, got about two and a half on that, maybe two. That's Bachmeyer, and you're going to be hearing that name a lot tonight, folks. We've been saying that a lot through all the games that we've done. And uh, not a lot there, but third and three. Well, it's a manageable third down. You know, you don't want third and long, especially on your opening drive. This is true. At Eastwood. <laughs> you you got you to gotta show, show them what you're made of here at Eastwood, that's for sure. Promenecker wide. Oh. oh, intercepted. Overthrew him, and that that, that could He's go gone. all the way back. You know, sometimes that adrenaline gets going, and you put a little extra zip on it. And, oh, yeah. Kind of threw it behind him. Griffin Caulfield with the interception right there and about a 20-yard return. And uh, I get some thanks out to IBEW Local 8, uh, UA50 and the local pipe fitters, Mommy Bay Turf. Fast track performance, of course, and uh, Wojo's heating and air conditioning as we uh, go first down here. And uh, 
Well, you, you don't want to turn the ball over, and you certainly don't want to give up uh, turnovers and end up on the plus side of the field for the offense. And uh, uh, great little, great Just little sidestep of the ball inside the four yard line, or inside the five yard line. Upended at that point by number 24, Trent Botmer. Gain on the play, you bring up second down and about three. The ball Pick roll with that one at the four yard line. Well, he's, he's shifty in the inside gaps there. Nice little lateral movement and then uh, keeps the pad square and keeps getting up the field. Right up the middle. Sweet play on the outside. Touchdown in the end zone. Footage footage's going to get a little shaky there when they make <laughs> it. You know, it doesn't get a lot easier than that. You know, toss the ball to your workhorse twice and Put seven points on the board. Into the tenth of the point is number thirty. Connor Pickles just been able to uh, just pick apart defenses all year. Offsides. Yeah, now you got a decision. You get half the distance. Now do you switch it up and go for two, or do you stay with this single point and kick it? I think they're trying to decide now. Well, they refuse it. So he's going to kick it again? Well, they, uh, the official blew it dead, so kick didn't count. Right, right. So. That would have brought it down, what, to like about the three-yard line? Oh, it's half the distance from the three, so it's about a yard oh, and a half. Gotcha. About a yard and a half. You got that one. Seven nothing with uh, ten minutes to go in the first. And uh, boy, if you're Rossford, you need to come out and mount a mount a drive now and settle back down. And, yeah, it's definitely get get through that turnover. And, and we'll be right back with more right here on the Toledo Sports Network. On the job for you for over 100 years. You need a career. You need a future. Local 8 can help you make it happen. Join the men and women who build our community. Become a part of a proud tradition. Build your career. Build your future with the brothers and sisters of the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, Local Union 8. We're on the job for you. We're on the job for you. We're the local IBEW. Oh, 7 nothing's our score right now. 7 Zero and uh, Eastwood on top after a uh, interception and uh, took it took it in real quick, Marty. I, you know, again, you you don't want to turn the ball over on your side of the field and uh, well, there's that kick again. But now this time he's going to step up and field it. Ooh. And get hit, upended. Uh huh. Literally. Return that kickoff with number twenty-eight, Caleb Oluski. Upended by Eastwood's number 25. Mason and when it's in the Blade. 40s, those those will hurt a little different in the morning. <laughs> I can, although, you know what? When you win, they hurt less. Yeah, this I, is true. I'm confident in that. Something tells me this is going to be one of them games where we're going to see a lot of good things happen on both sides here tonight because both of these teams can do things. Eastwood with the run. And uh, Rossford, you know, what, what was the last game we did? I don't know if I did that with you or not, where um, Gromenecker just – just ran the ball and ran the ball and ran the ball. Was the late game? Yeah, it might have been. Mm. We had the Genoa game, and that was a uh, real balanced attack. Promenecker overthrown oh. again. See that adrenaline a little bit. Temper number 19, Lucas Plus, nearly pulled down by Eastwood's number 15, Griffin Caulfield. That's two that have just Second been, on, you know, beautiful spirals, but just overthrown. And, uh, you know, I, 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 sometimes people make – a big deal of this, and I'm not sure how I feel, but, you know, you always wonder when a team that's used to playing on turf comes out, whether the guys are a little slower. Oh, didn't even think about on that. On this natural surface and uh, whether you that thought disrupts that. the timing a little bit. Time to Google it. Google it. I don't know. There, there are multiple theories on that. Okay. I've been places where you knew they let it grow. That's all I'll say. Kramenecker's throwing it again. Steps up in the pocket. He's going long again. Got him that time. Oh, yeah. Trust his athlete to go up and make a play. And, uh, 
bought himself some time by stepping up in the pocket and uh, as Stroop with it uh, yeah Stroop made a nice adjustment on it too it was uh, it hung up a little bit on him well they went three in a row right there too three in a row well, they've come they offensively they've been very aggressive I can say that they knew something was going on First and ten on the 15 trips, here. Trips left. Uh, Single receiver to the right. A little slant route there. Wow. I think he got him. He did. Stroop again down That's right about the one yard line. Jamari Kroom. I think it was Stroop again. He's number 10, Isaac Badenhoff. I think Kroom's down here. It'll be first and goal. Bulldogs ball at about the five yard line. First and ten again. First and goal. And they just right down the field. Inside draw. That was a design a quarterback draw. Three yard line. Not a read. Hitting him first was Eastwood's number 54, Austin Nissen. Got about a little less than a yard to go Second to the goal line. And goal. You know, when you when you have a multi-dimensional quarterback, it's very tough defensively because those those linebackers really can't. You know, you throw a slant sure. on the play before that, the linebackers are adjusting the slant, and then the next the next play is going to run it right in the gap where that slant would normally be. We're actually seeing empty backfield here. That's the and, Acker I'm used to seeing. Yeah. Acres. Touchdown. Um, you know, it's it's a great oh, offensive oh. scheme though because they go empty in the backfield. The back goes out, so you got to account for him. So it, oh, gets, yeah. it gets guys out of the box and gives your lineman a chance to really push the pile, and he just kind of sat his way in. As quickly as it is, 7-6 is our score already. Kramenecker uh, took it himself and was able to get himself in there. And did he get it? It was kind of a knuckleball, but it it, it uh, was effective. There are no style points for extra points. <laughs> Who needs style points in football? Well, if there were style points, you would have got the Russian judge would have given you no style points on that one. It, it it's always a Russian judge. It's always a Russian judge. We'll be right back with more right here on the Toledo Sports Network. Genoa Bank helped finance my great-grandfather's farm equipment. Genoa Bank helped my grandfather with a small business loan. My parents' home loan was from Genoa Bank. And I managed my free checking account online with Genoa Bank. Since 1902, Genoa Bank has helped generations of families. Many things have changed over the years, but our commitment to our customers has not. We care about their needs and the good of our community. At Genoa Bank, we take your banking needs personally. Stop by any of our eight locations today. Seven all right here. The beautiful uh, Eastwood High School. And, uh, you know, you know, Mike, they say defense wins championships. And uh, I don't care. Offense is more fun to watch. I got to tell you, man, it's uh, – I think you're, we're going to have a shootout tonight. Both of these teams are very scorable. Uh oh. I want to grab little, that ball. A little more com communication issues there. Uh oh. Uh, and the timing got off, and guys got a little outside their lane of kicker. At least slows them up enough that uh, they can come clean it off. Isaiah Cherry right there. That's two of the first three kicks where we've seen that the ball's live. Oh, we got a block in the back back here. Oh, it's coming back. All the way back. Oh. Preliminary cause pushing the back against Eastwood. Hate when that happens. Hey, when that happens, all tied up. They're going to start that. Gosh, what? About the nine, eight, maybe? I can tell you there's nothing more upsetting when you're the returner and you look back and that yellow laundry is laying out there. And I saw that a lot last night in the in the game. In the, yeah, first and ten on the nine. I tell you, by the way, not talking too much NFL here, but. 49ers are just awesome. That defensive front four is nasty. Pickle on the run again. Not Pickle. Seven-yard seven gain there for Gaze. Three. 
Yeah, I'd say this is a, a contrast in styles offensively. Well, we'll you got see. Rossford that's all wide open and splitting three and four wide out on every snap. And Yep. Pickerel. He got about two. I think he might have gotten two. Well, they the gave him the first down. down. They gave it to him. Pickerel stood up at the point of attack by number 10, Dylan Prater. That run results in an Eastwood first and 10. Ball now sitting at the Eagle 20-yard line. You know, you can give us a text and let us know you're listening to us here now, 419-514-1302. And just say hi, and uh, you got a message, we'll get the message out. we got a lot of people listening tonight. So, first and 10, uh, Eagles. Great job following the box oh, wow. there. Breaks a tackle. And, uh, first down carry by number 12, Emmett Gets. Emmett gets with the carry right there, and exactly what you said, Marty. He just he he ran he ran his route exactly how he was supposed to. He waited. Well, they they motioned the uh, wing from the left over, and he ended up being a lead blocker, and he allowed the block to set up nice, and then broke a tackle and added seven or eight after that. It's very it's almost like golf, where the slower you swing, the more further the ball goes. You know, if you if you wait and you oh beautiful pickerel with a nice run. Well. Number 20, Justin Pickerel. There, there are a lot of backs, especially yards. younger backs at the high school level, that don't understand how to wait for the block to materialize. They, you know, it, oh, definitely. You know, go fast but don't hurry is what we used to tell guys. You know, make your cut, make a decision, but don't get there, don't get there faster than you're supposed to. Second and five. Uh, been a wonderful, wonderful season so far. And uh, this looks like the uh, motion play going back the other way. Yep, there he goes in motion. And uh, a little counter, though. See, they, they mix it up. Last time they ran it back behind the motion, and this time they run the counter away from motion. And that's, I'm telling you again, right that's, now. That's tough for a linebacker to figure out which, which assignment you want in this offense. I mean, you get into a position like that, pick roll with another nice 20-yard run. And, and so many guys, he was able to push off so many guys. And there just has to come a time, if you're a Rossford fan, where you you, you got to wrap the guy up. Well, you're not going to tackle him high. Yeah. That's what they're trying to do, too. Exactly. You're right. First and 10. There's the motion 45. Oh, oh, wide open. Wide open. Oh, and he just misses. In they go. Gave, gave him a little okie doke at about the eight and uh, let the DB fly by. See, that's the surprise ta tactic well, that, that Ross when, when you run the ball effectively and, and then you run play action like that, it's mm -hmm. lethal and uh, beautiful play action play. 13 7. Point is number 30, Connor Overhouse. Hopefully, we'll hold McNulty. We'll snap. 13 7, and we've got the uh, extra point. Up and uh, we got another flag. Offsides Bunch of them. again. Bunch of them. False start this time. Interesting. We have a legal procedure. He's good. We have back to try him. Five yards. We'll try this again a little further back. It's all about timing here. High snap, great job getting the ball down. I think you got it. The young man did a fantastic well, job. Is good. He's the scorer. Eagles 14, Bulldogs 7. Stick around, folks. we got a it's long game Eagles. ahead of us here, and we'll uh, be right back. What can you expect from working with Fairway Independent Mortgage Corporation? Our branch manager, Marty Bin, can help you navigate through the loan process with the service and speed you deserve. Contact Marty today to get pre-qualified. Make your home buying dreams a reality. Call 419-481-8696 to speak with Marty Bin today. The role you play in tonight's contest. Beautiful evening here at Eastwood tonight, and 14-7 uh, is our score right now. Mike Jamison along with Marty Ben from Fairway. 
mortgage nice. and i got a brand new office oh, wow. over there in mommy two offices now congratulations sir well, thank you we've been growing fast enough we need the extra space i kicked that a little deeper out of the same uh, basic stance. Oh, Ooh, oh goodness. we got a flag Heavy coming in, too. In you know, you know, in life they say he who has hesitates and is lost, and in football he who hesitates gets tackled like that. Well, well we're all saying, ooh, before he gets hit. You know what I'm saying? We're like, we see it. It's like, oh, dear Lord, keep running. You want you want your pads in front of your feet, not your feet in front of your pads, because when your feet get in front of your pads, that happens, and it is not pleasant. That ball's coming back. Two minutes and 22 seconds, the final 35. McNulty's been able to uh, pretty much dictate what he was wanted to do right now. And um, they're going to be starting way back now. Yeah, this is the furthest they've started back because the other two pooch kicks were down up around the 35. That was an odd-looking play as far as timing. Kind of telegraph that sweep a little bit. Toss sweep. I'm telling you. Second 11 deep in your own end. This is, you, you know, you really just don't try and get it all back in one play, you know. Take what they'll give you, get five or six back, and uh, make it a manageable third down here. Just wondering if it's time to see Kramanek or just tuck it and run. Well, there's that seam route. Oh, oh he hauled it he in. He hauled it in. Oh, hauled it in. <laughs> number 19, Lucas Klotz with that. He's had a busy first quarter. Bulldogs have the ball first and 10 at their own 32-yard line. First and ten right now for the uh, Bulldogs, bringing it up um, thirty what thirty three yard line. Rossford thirty three. Four wide again, single back, offset. Seam route to the back. Same uh, route. Well, again, that's a that's a night nightmare matchup for a linebacker. Having to account for that back out of the backfield and then pass cover. I mean, in high school, you just don't see that as much. And and the it's way a great route. Kramenecker's throwing it down low like that. That if the receiver can't catch it, no one's going to catch it. And well, I think after those uh, <laughs> that, that first, first pick where he overthrew it, and the one where he overthrew him long and almost had another pick, uh, maybe he's uh, over-adjusted. You think they got that. one of them signs they throw up there that just says "throw it low"? That only it's just like black or something. No, the quarterbacks adjust on their own. Uh -huh. There it is, another design run play. Yeah, that's what I've been waiting to see. Kramenecker's Kramenecker got that down. First and ten, about the forty-seven. Tell you what, with four minutes to go in the first quarter, we have certainly had a lot of offense tonight. Yeah, yeah, we're. Uh, You're not going to be able to run any commercials after this because the oh, game's no, the game's going to take forever. Okay, all right. Because all the all the scoring, you know, this is the stuff right the here clock. that I normally take out. See, uh -huh. <laughs> the game. No, we don't take any of the game out. Come no, on, just between plays. Oh, I got you. Our banter, our our incredibly well, no. fun and exciting banter. Well, let me know when that starts. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Trips right. Mm -hmm. oh, there he goes again. Takes the toss and Kramenerker keeps oh. it. Ooh, I think he should have. I think he should have followed his blocks on that. Number twenty-five, Mason Glaze. Gain of one, second down. I'd say a risk-reward decision when you leave your blockers. Yeah, Blaze. Uh, Mason Blaze was able to uh, decide. You know what? I'm going to hit it, and it, it, that's a scary hit too because that that's a knee hurting hit. You know what I mean? Because he's his he he's all ex he's just wide open and he's got no way. And you get just scared when you see them kind of hits. The sideways ones that bother me. Oh, oh yeah. those aren't well, so those, yeah. This guy's coming in on hey, you. You would know. I'm not. I'm not uh, you've been there with your son. So well, I got dead guy parts in my knees. All. I think they were guys. Maybe not. Dead people parts. I look down at my legs and see dead people. <laughs> well, you bet you a lot of fun on Christmas on Sunday, right? <laughs> <laughs> Third and nine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, basically, you'll get to watch this game Sunday, and then you'll have to go out and trick or treat. No. Yeah. No. Well, not you, but no. 
We got enough My trick or here. treating days are over. Jeff Hill took big time care of us. The great people here at Eastwood, boy, I'll tell you what, my sugar is going to be around six thousand by the time this is all over. But oh, found him that time. Well, that makes this an easy decision for the coach. You're just going to kick it away here. You know, if you got four or five but didn't quite get the first down, that's decision time. But with that loss now, it's kick it away. And he got a good kicker. Use it. You know, Murtha can get that ball down there. Well, but you, but you haven't stopped him yet. Right. So, that's true. So, you know, you, it gets tricky. That, you know, in games like this, that first turnover looms large already. It's the difference in the game so far. Good snap. Oh, beautiful kick. Calls for a fair catch at about the 18. Hey, fair catches that ball at about the 18 yard line. Thank you, Marty. <laughs> Did a nice job there, brother. If you're listening. Well, I'm, I'm like a clock. I'm right twice a day, whether it work or not. Oh, that's right. Daylight or savings time is over Sunday, right? Yes. I hope they change that. Yeah, it's 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 the most not wonderful time of the year when you drive home, drive to work in the dark, and drive home in the dark. Exactly, four o'clock in the afternoon, and you know, you know you can see stars, you can see the space station going over. And yeah, no, thank you. First and ten here for the Eagles. I think only you and your pacemaker see the f space station. Mm -hmm. The rest of us, we don't see it. By the way, thanks for asking. My pacemaker is doing very well. Just, okay. Just saying. Right. Just, right. just, just, just to, well, you're still talking. I figured it was fine. If I see you nodding off over there, we'll. You know, I've already planned. If uh, we'll charge the batteries. If uh, if I do pass away here, you know, I'm gonna. Do you hear about that Irish guy that taped all that stuff and put it in the coffin, and they turned it on as they were putting it down? He says, "Get me out of here." <laughs> Good tackle there. And it gets just short of the 25 yard line. Down That's Getz again. On that play. I mean, ran Gavin, Gavin Linkos has had the, the couple games we've done together for Rossford, he has just had huge tackling numbers. Well, oh. Call him the cleaner. No matter what's going on, he's cleaning things up. Oh, here's one time Rossford's been able to shut it down. And this is our first time for him to shut it down. Third and nine right now. Or I'm sorry, third, third and six. six. I'm sorry. They've split somebody out wide. I don't think we've seen this formation yet tonight. Oh, they're going to give it to Getz again. Run it inside. I think he's going to be about a yard short. Very close to the Eastwood first down. Uh, we're not signaling yet. Oh, they. Oh. By Rossford's number 12. Interesting. That was a, Morris, Ben Morrison with the uh, tackle right there. I'm not, was a I'm not sure based on my eyes that that was not a generous spot. That's all that, I'm going to say. That was definitely a generous spot, yes. There's that right foot, left foot. That was definitely a strong right-footed spot. First and ten for the Eagles right now. Uh. Let's get a couple. You know, I've... Uh, D done some defensive hey, back coaching against two, a very similar and offense eight. back when Bedford ran theirs. And, uh, uh -huh. you know, as the game goes on, it, if your defenders the hit their assignments the over and over again, you can slow this down. The, the problem is when guys freelance and guys won't do their job and you get a little improvise, you improvise a little too much, it, it just does not work against these offenses because they're very precise. Yep. And that'll be the last snap of the first quarter. 14-7 Eastwood and uh well, we got us a game here, brother. Oh yeah, good. We got a good one. Ladies and gentlemen, Eastwood, and folks, we'll be right back with more right here on the Toledo the Sports Network. Wow, look at all that snow out there. Good thing I had you go to TAS and get a remote starter for the car. Whoops. Guess who's going out and starting my car? Yes, dear. It's not too late. TAS Electronics has remote car starters from $199 installed, including bypass. Plus heated seats, just $149 installed. No one can stop the winter, but with TAS, you can have a nice, warm vehicle waiting for you. TAS Electronics. You know. TAS Electronics. It's hot. Eastwood's going to run it right down your throat. Lots of offense here. Nice oh, hit there. He got nice hit. Hit. popped. Ritker got popped. I think he lost a yard on that. Linkus, like you said, Linkus got him good. He is a uh, he is a physical presence in the middle of that defense. 
That's that's one that win or lose you'll feel tomorrow. <laughs> Third and still eight here for the Eagles on their where are we at here? About the thirty three again. Yeah. Thirty three seems to be my number. I think I'm gonna play that in the lottery tonight. You have to you have, you gotta play three numbers. There's not a two number. No, game. I played a bunch of numbers. Oh, okay. Sweep coming Get around. I got it bottled up this time. Whole, whole crew. Oh, that was Pickle. 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 Yeah. Pickle. Yeah. And uh, Rossford gets his first stop of the night. He's what's got a punt. Fourth down. About s- oh, they're saying six. I was going to say seven. So fourth and six. Since we turned this punt for the Bulldogs, number five, Jamari Crew. And number 19, Jamari Crew. Kind of a and Klotz are back. For yeah, the, yeah. It's a different approach with two guys back there. You don't uh-huh. see that a ton. No. Well, you just don't know because he's been trying to put that ball in. Oh, oh, oh high oh, snap. Oh, that's going to be could trouble. Could be big trouble. Oh, good. It is big trouble. Well, there's, that's effectively a turnover, right? That's a yeah. huge play. And now Rossford gets a short field, and we'll see if they can capitalize. The will begin their possession first and 10. At the Eastwood 16 yard line. You know, in these big games, turnovers and miscues like that usually are what the side is. It, well, Pickerel tried to tap it. He, he, it was so high, he had to tap that ball so he could get it to come down, and it, the ball took a spin, and he couldn't do anything with it. It's going to be first down and real close here for the Bulldogs. Gives to Bachmeyer. Bachmeyer. Yeah, Bachmeyer didn't get anything. It was a interesting. I don't know if that was a mesh where he was reading it or if there was a little little confusion between the tailback and the quarterback there. The mesh point didn't look particularly smooth on that. One. Second and six for us for Bulldogs. Uh, 10 07 left to go in the second quarter. So again, it's just a, it's a different look at the mesh point than I'm used to. It's going to be third and five. They're saying no gain. I'm going to go with what they say. Third and six. I get that right one of these days. Not two days, but one of these days. <laughs> And and you, you just look at that and with the, with their firepower that they've been well, doing. Well, third and six is not a problem for this offense, right? You know they 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 like to fling it around a lot, and, and Kramenecker's a threat to run inside if you know if you drop too many in coverage. There's that. Oh, I think we're going to see. It. Well, I think that I think that was pretty good timing on that. Krim was not able to get his hand on it. It's going to be fourth and six. Come out and kick the field goal. Interesting decision here. This is where you're nice ho- pass, though. This is where you're hoping that initial knuckleball we saw on the extra point was an anomaly. Right. Uh, I, don't, I don't think that'll get through from this distance. Good snap. Oh, much better. Excellent. You got it. 14 10 game with uh, 903 left in the second. We'll be right back right here on the Toledo Sports Network. We're the people at Nika. People with the right connections. When it comes to electrical work, you want to make sure it's done right the first time. NECA contractors employ the most highly trained and reliable workforce in the industry, which means quality and safety. We can help you get the job done on time and on budget. The right connection you need. We're the people at NECA. People with the right connections. With over 150 years of combined legal experience, Heben Murphy and Lewandowski LLC are proud to offer unparalleled legal representation to the residents of Toledo, Lucas, Wood Counties, and the surrounding communities in Ohio. They're located at 200 Dixie Highway in Rossford, Ohio. You can give them a call at 419-662-3100. 
can't thank them enough for the uh, sponsorship and being part of uh, what we're trying to do here on the uh, Toledo Sports Network. Ball goes Rashford up. Rashford kicks it away. How short kicks tonight? Did you notice that? It's a little chilly, and the I, you know, the ball doesn't fly the same. Returns that kick off about five yards. Inside Your foot doesn't feel as good hitting it. Well, Ball's a little harder. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Heath Hag with the uh, the, uh, the catch the and uh, we'll get a couple out of it here for the Eagles, line. and uh, it's going to be first and ten on the how about the twenty-three. We'll see if Rossford can get another stop here, or if uh, Eastwood kind of establishes the line of scrimmage again. They're sniffing it out right now. They're still banging it up the middle right there. Well, but there's there's been a whole crew there now the last couple plays. Yep. And the uh, lead blocker is not able to clear out as much space because they've got a mass of bodies in there. Second and an eight. Well, remember, you know, Eastwood was able to get this that is a little pass in there. Well, this is about where they ran play action last time. Yep, yep. Similar look, and uh, we'll see here. There's that play action again. Now out in the flat instead of well, he had why he had open. several guys wide open, and there's no wide there's yeah, nobody, nobody out here. There. He's got blocking in front. He's going to go all the way, Mike. Unless there's wow. a penalty, nothing. Yeah. I, I think if I was a quarterback, I'd be a little shocked. He rolled out and he had a deeper corner route open, yeah. and the route in the flat he took the easier one. Plenty of blocking out front. And he, 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 I mean, out, neither untouched. one of us could, could see that there was no one from Rossford there to uh, to do to do anything. Well, the deep receiver was out there with nobody to block. Into attempt to go extra point is Connor Overhouse. 20 and 10 is our score right now. The old muddle huddle. You a fan of the muddle huddle? I've, I've never liked it. Drives me crazy. Where you fake the, you know, outside and walk back in. Another great job by the holder there. Tough snap, and he got it, got it down, and got a position, and they get it up and through. And just like that, it's 21-10. We'll be right back right here at Toledo Sports Network. Stick around. And he's been scoring drive. Two plays, 77. Blackberry Corner on the corner of 579 and Elliston Road is a proud sponsor of Genoa Football and has the best burgers, chicken, and pizza. Well, you know the pizza. Everyone knows the pizza. Blackberry Corner also has charbroiled pork ribs and Jim's famous chicken dinners. Whether it's appetizers, pizza, or a full dinner, the great folks at Blackberry Corner can help fill you up and save you money. Stop out to Blackberry Corners on the corner of State Route 579 and Elliston Road for a meal or just a snack. Twenty-one ten is our score right now. Mike Jamison along with Marty Bin. 8.09 left to go in the second quarter. And uh, Marty, it, as amazing as I am to say this right now, I mean, Eastwood is winning this game on their passing game. Which is well, but it's big. it's set up by that exactly. ground and pound right, to the right. inside, and then you mix it up, and you know, it's honestly, just nice to see. Honestly, that. linebackers nice. and safeties. Beautiful kick, too. Uh, you know, from the first little pooch, now he's changed up the distances each time, but always pinning it to the sideline makes it a little easier. Lucas Klotz returns that kick off about seventeen yards. You know, Lucas Klotz with it, and uh, and then it's time to over about the twenty-four, I think. Well, if you're Rossford, you really need to go down and get a score right, here. Exactly. You don't want to give you don't want to give the ball back with a chance to extend it to a three-score lead. Plus, Eastwood gets the ball coming out of the half, so you yep. need to, you need to put a drive together here. First and ten for the Rossford Bulldogs. Or the way the games go, throw it and bomb it down the field, and you know we've got six more scores before <laughs> halftime. Either of those is fine. As long as we don't go over thirty minutes for the half, I'm good. Oof, nothing there inside on that. Number 24, Trent Bachmeyer stopped right at the point of attack. Hit there by Eastwood, number 60, Blake Landis. Give it a gain of one. Make it second down and nine. Second down and niner here. And uh, this is where you've got to see. You, you've got to see some 
some folds on what's going to happen here. And Rossford's looks like they're, I see right up the middle again. You know, well, the, the inside seam route. So they're there giving Kroom, there it is, uh, giving Kroom a lot of room out there. And see, I think that's their. Oh, they're saying he caught it. Huh. That that route's going to be there all night. They're yeah. they're sitting at eleven and twelve yards, fearing him getting over the top on them. And uh, I I think he could throw it out there all evening. Yeah, the best the best thing that Kramnicker's been able to do is get those little splits there. You know, the middle stuff. It's all there. He's tried to go long two or three times, just hasn't been able to connect. Not saying he should stop. Well, he had that 50 50 ball down the right yeah, side. Exactly. Line that he threw up there and stepped up in the pocket and extended the play. That's a design draw. Well, there it is. Bounced it outside. And Kramenecker kept, kept the gained, ball. Gained a 10 on it. first down. Yeah, that's a first down. Pickerel's able to uh, tackle there. Well, he'll be a tired puppy. He didn't come off the field. He's out there all night. Yala Cole Greek Restaurant helps us out each and every week. 216-9456 or over in a Crossway Parkway Plaza. I'll tell you what, I go over there and have the Greek salads all the time. Great, great stuff. Oh, there's nothing better than a good euro. I don't care what anybody mm-hmm. says. See? Oof. Oh. Oof. You can see that coming. A little high in a bobble, and you don't get your head around, and uh, shoulder pads meet ribs. In a cold November day. <laughs> Normally we're in playoffs when we're saying November. So. You, you know, you, you and your music in and out, you should have uh, uh, Gordon Lightfoot playing in and out tonight oh. when the winds of November come with <laughs> I love that. No, song. there's this thing. I know it's a bittersweet song, but the yes. guitar riffs in that song are fantastic. Look at this. There's they're, this thing called ASCAP, you know, and they they don't like people like me. Oh, I guess. that's why we don't have any music drops here. All right, Kramenecker's going to throw it. Same Se- seam it's, route again, and that wide open, good move. And uh, hey, they're giving Kroom his top receiver about a ten yard, eleven yard cushion, yeah. uh, saying we're not going to let you beat us over the top and. Uh, but those underneath routes are there almost every snap. Well, then keep running those those routes if you're Rossford because, you know, it, it, number one, it gets your confidence up, and you're keeping hold of the ball too. Well, at some and point in time you're going to pump that and throw it because they're going to come down. You're going to have a high free come down in the box and try and jump one of those. And I agree. You're going to have to pump it and put a double move on. That crew out here on an island. Little jailbreak. Nice oh, little jailbreak screen. Bachmeyer with a one-handed grab. He jumped for that one. Got a couple out of it. Tackle by Eastwood, number 25, Mason Glaze. Number 23, Zach Bartowski. Gain of two, second down and eight. Second and eight here for the uh, Bulldogs. We used, no. to do, we used to do a drill for that. You'd see all those linemen come downfield, and I, I, I would blow the whistle at practice be like, to safety. Why, what are you doing? He'd say, I'm just covering my guy. He said, if they're all coming downfield, they can't throw it to your guy. It's got to be completely behind the line of scrimmage. So get your butt up in the box and help out. And he'd look <laughs> at you and say, but, Coach, no, never mind. We'll talk about it after practice when I can go show right. you on the film. That's so a design again. keeper again, and there's plenty of room in the center field. He's going to go to the He's house. He's all the way. Yep. Touchdown. Kramenecker just stayed and waited, and he waited for the blocking, and then he just exploded. Six points for Rossford. Well, I'll tell you what, Marty. This is a wild first half. Yeah, here. this is this is going to be one of them games, and it's going to be more than the first half. I think we're going to love all the way around here with 4:55 left to go in the half. Well, if you're Rossford, there's no point in leaving anything in the tank. Oh, gosh, no. And they get it. And it's 17. 21 17 is our score right now. 21, Rossford, 17. And you heard what he said, and we'll be right back. Hi there. I'm Nick with A Plus Building Maintenance, your Toledo handyman. Do you need home repairs done? Not sure who to call? Here at A Plus, we install everything from light bulbs to roofing. We're fully licensed and insured to protect you. We're also a proud member of the BBB. Please visit us online at ToledoHandyMan.com. There you can see many before and after photos along with other customer testimonials and ask your own home repair question. Any job big or small, A-plus building maintenance, 419-478-1542. 21 overall, 
and 10 and 0 in the conference, the 2019 NBC champions. And for a second year in a row, second sectional champs, district champs, regional qualifiers, as well as the wow. NBC champions. That's a lot of things there. Congratulations going out to the uh, Eastwood girls soccer team. Congratulations to their coaches. Incredible job right there. They may have to build an addition on to put all that hard work. Well, I'll tell you what. You know, the, the, the things that have happened here at Eastwood, it's just incredible. All of the athletic, you know, and Pat Eakin, my buddy Pat, and I know a lot of these people. Boy, things have been going on in this school for a long, long time. So if you're the Rossford staff, you need to stop here, try and get the ball back, because remember, Eastwood gets the ball after, after the half. So uh, trying to get a stop here and maybe go down and get a couple more points before the half would be really really advantageous mm -hmm. four point game right now 21 17 i think if you're eastwood you want to control the clock and if you do have to give the ball back you don't want to give it back with any time because it doesn't take that passing attack long to get down the field oh no, no no not here it hasn't pickerel gets it gets a couple game of about three nearly three yards on that carry Second and about seven here. Silver Moon Soda Grill over on 795. I got to see John over at the bank today, and we talked forever and ever and ever, and he's probably here at the game. He said he wanted to come out and see the game tonight, and he thought it was going to be a beautiful night. And go over and have a 795 burger because, man, they're good. Good stuff. Oh! Met, met right in the hole, and that'll be third and long. And, boy, you know, and Pickerel lost one on that. I mean, he got hit. You know what? I mean, that, that was like what you were talking about. Hit. I think he stood up a little on it, and they just they just hit him low and hit him high at the same time. A lot of penetration by the defense on that play. Third and eight's the number right now in uh, a 42-yard line. Coming on the outside on a sweep with oh, a, yeah, there's there's a, a hold there. That's going to come back. Yep. We do have a flag on that first down carry. Let's just say this. There was a, a warm embrace on a cold night, and uh, that will usually get caught, and it going, did. Are you going Gordon Lightfoot on me? I, I don't know. <laughs> there was a warm embrace on a cold night. Of course it's not. Well, it was, it was more than just a little patty cake. It was uh, a nice hug. Yeah, yeah. It looks like he's going to get to do it all over That's again. The mark off of the penalty to bring up third down and about 18. Ball now resting. Third and 18 and right there. Wood, 28-yard well, line. The, you know, they had the first down, but you, as often happens, you can't tell what really would have happened because the hold uh, may have uh, assisted yeah. a bit on that. Oh, I agree. Totally agree. Clock's running. 3.30 left in the uh, yeah. half. I mean, at what point in time, if you're Rossford, you spend a timeout to keep some clock time. Oh, not much there. Now, see, now that incomplete pass is going to stop the clock. You don't have to burn a timeout. You're going to get the ball back with about 310. Yep. And a pretty good field position, I would guess. Oh, well, we remember what happened on the on the last fourth down for, uh, for the Eagles. Here. You got both your returners set up around the 40. One at the 35, one at the 40. And uh, so you'd expect to get the ball around midfield with about 310 left on the clock. Had a lot of problem with the snap here, and Pickerel's back. Nice that time. Better snap Perfect. there. Oh, he boomed that one. Wow. Backed him up. What a kick. <laughs> nice one by Justin Pickerel. Rose out of bounds at about the oh, about 46 yard, yard line. 45 yard kick. Beautiful kick right there. Well, it's a way to flip the field, and uh, now they get a long field. Uh, but with three minutes to go, and uh, <laughs> anything can happen in this group. Well, three minutes tonight is about four hours, the way it's been. <laughs> I know. I'm looking at the And clock. I believe they have a full complement of timeouts. Yes, yes, yes. They haven't had to use them. I want to give thanks out to Ryan Buckman and Strategic Farming Farm Marketing, 217-356-0046. Crop insurance marketing and brokerage here, and a very, very special fan of the Eastwood Eagles. And Ryan, thank you so much for helping us out, uh, sponsoring these Eastwood games. As we go first and 10. Four wide again. Oh, inside draw. Looks like Bob Meyer again. He's going to get a couple out of it, maybe three. 
pause for it for about three to four yards. At Mommy Bay Turf Center, we're on your team. Providing quality stadium surfaces for area high school stadiums and the preferred product of the NFL and supplier to the last four Super Bowls and the NFL Hall of Fame. Your sports field construction specialist and a proud sponsor of high school sports in Northwestern Ohio. Beautiful night here in Eastwood and uh, See what's going to happen here. Second and about six, seven. Romanecker is going to throw Ooh, wide open. Oh. Romanecker's pass and time for number two, Jacob Shippers. Sometimes when it's too easy, it's just too easy. How many times did you see that last night in the Cardinals game? Oh, yeah. You remember? Yes. Yeah. If you're a Cardinals fan, it's just saying, just saying. You know, the interesting thing, when you're standing still and the ball's came, coming at you, sometimes your brain says, don't drop it, don't <laughs> drop it. And when you're it. running down the field at full speed and the, it's a tight ball, you're thinking, i got to go get it, i got to go get it. And it's amazing the power of the mind on that. Uh -huh. Third and about seven. We tell the kids, if you think you can, you probably will, and if you're not sure, you won't. There's that seam, oh, wow. seam route again. See, that's, that's just... Yeah. Perfectly timed behind the linebackers and in front of that zone coverage. That's Kroon right there. Jamari Kroon with that. And, it, you know, they're just taking it up. He's going back and forth on these sidelines right now. Well, they're, really they're not going to let him have the deep ball. Right? I mean, they're, they're putting a deep safety over top of that or a corner 11, 12 yards off the line of scrimmage pretty much every snap. So you're going to have to hit him in those seams. Another design run. And uh, basically the same play that we saw on the touchdown last yeah. time. And another 14, 15-yard play and a first down. And then that stop to the Eagles, number 25, Mason Glaze. Stop the clock while they move the chains, get, get your play in. It makes it so tough. And we talked about this with defensive strategies here because Kramenecker can do so much with the ball and then be able to run it like that and, and basically at will on that play. He's come back from that ACL from last year yeah. so strong. Kind of threw that one away, I think. He kind of cocked on it like he was well, going to do it. I think there was a little confusion. I think one of the receivers is supposed to run his own read route where he sits down underneath that, and the other one's supposed to attack that high safety. And uh, they, were a little, they were a little proximate to each other, we'll say that. That's why I keep Marty here. He's got all those big words. i got big words like red. I load three. Or I load three or four on my shirt before I come here. Oh, you do? Is that it? Is that it? Okay. Okay. All right. Hey, as long as the graphics are good, I'm happy, and the camera's working. Jay's doing a wonderful job out there. He's not freezing. He's got like 400. Kind of looks like Burl Ives tonight. So. That's Mick normally is Burl Ives. So. Burl Ives singing in the uh, Rudolph. Mm -hmm. There it is. Oh, good uh, job looking off the safety and uh, maybe a little late. But, uh, Looked over, looked over at the swing route, and then right back on the scene. Kind of lucky on that one that that one didn't get picked. Though. Well, I that think this close. is, I think this is four down territory. Sure, I, 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 I really believe, you know, there's really no reason to punt it away here, unless right? unless you have a big loss. But uh, one thirty nine here in the uh, half. The clock stops on the incomplete pass. Twenty one seventeen, third ten for the Bulldogs. Both these teams have just been monster firepower all day. From an acre's pass, that was intended for number 19, Lucas Clark. I, uh, for the Eagles. Something happened on that route, yes? Well, I that was not a great decision. Um, Mr. Kramenecker normally makes pretty good decisions, but uh, the check down route to the back was there, and uh, I think I think coach is over saying, "Hey, let's let's take what they give us and move the chains." Right. I'm a little surprised by the decision to punt here, but I suppose with a minute 30, Eastwood has all their timeouts too. Is that right? Yeah. Could bounce. Let it go. Get down there. Oh yeah. Well, that, that should uh, end all discussion of whether to uh, try and mount a drive or take a knee and get into the half. Because I don't think you want to do anything cute from down there. About on the, what, three, four yard line? Oh, I think it's, yeah, it's inside the five for sure. 
Hey, don't forget tomorrow from 8 to 10, we'll have the uh, Toledo Sports Network on 106.5 ESPN, the ticket. Live from the Jameson Studios. Doing a hometown. Is that, is that what they're called now? No, yeah, they're just called the, the Jameson Studios. They're going to try. So you got Abbey Road and then the Jameson Studios <laughs> right there in the hierarchy of studios. Yeah, but you don't. You, you don't want to go sockless on, in my house. You know. True. Oh, I, that I've spent a lot of time in my house there, so you know. I miss the good old uh, round table days over there with you and Norm and John and whoever else happens to be over there that week. And we're still arguing. I'm still banging my head on a desk. Yeah, not, you not much has changed. If I'm not DJing a wedding on Saturdays, I'm watching you guys at eleven o'clock on NBC. I am. I, I, you know, I'm, it's my time. I'm allowed to say that. They said I can say that, that I can, I can give you some props because it's a great show. Well, there's been nothing better this year than the, oh, oh, oh you can't let this happen. Oh. Don't let him out of the box. Goodness. I think they're going to be able to push him out, though. Limit the damage. Well, that was Pickard right there. Yes. He got about 40 yards on that carry. And they had him three different times. Wonderful run by Mr. Pick, Pickard. Pick roll. It's pick roll. Oh yes, it's like it's like it's like a walleye pick roll. No, it's not pickered. It's pick roll. I assure you. I can't you this. see anything. That's my I promise. Problem. Don't wager me on this. It is pick roll. I apologize. I had the. I'm, I'm I had sure the, people are going to yell at me about that. That's I, okay. And I deserve it. I had the misfortune of coaching against Hina's brother in travel baseball for a number of years, so I'm very confident. Ooh. They were that good. Ooh. Another wide open route. Uh, I think he probably would complete that. He had to rush the throw a little bit because the uh, pressure was coming. He took a lick as he delivered yeah. it. Getz, Getz, it just went off his hands. It's going to be a second down and 10 with uh, 24 seconds. I apologize for that. I've been saying that wrong. I can't believe I haven't gotten a text about that. You know? It's okay. That's my fault. I don't like doing bad, stupid things, but every once in a while he's going to pass again. Nalty rolls out, drops it down to the flat. Nalty's pass was complete to number 25, Mason Blaze. Stopped on that short reception. Schiffert made a good decision to come up and sniff that out. Burn that timeout. Yeah. One last shot here. Eastwood, their first timeout of the half. We'll be right back, folks. Moe's Place, downtown Rossford, has the best burgers in town and much, much more. Stop by for their famous Flaming Moe Burger. Moe's Place, proud to bring you Rossford High School Sports. Thanks to Harpo and everybody over at uh, Moe's Place. I've, you know, I'm, I'm now a two or three day eater or a week eater over at Moe's. And uh, whenever they have their mashed potato uh, mobiles, it's the greatest things ever put on this earth. Yeah, and, mashed uh, potato mobiles. Oh my goodness! You get them hot, and then you get you get a little ranch with them. They're just incredible. Jay and I have our own uh, our own breakfasts there. So we walk in, and there's a Jay Mo breakfast, there's a Jay breakfast, and both involve corned beef and a lot of insulin. No, I just I, I I don't even know what's happening right now. Uh huh. He's going for it all. A little double move. So he puts it, it up. Oh, he had a, he had a shot at that. That was a nice little try. That's what you want. That's what you want. And they get the ball coming out the half, so they're going to go into the half with a 21-17 lead, and uh, Eastwood will get the ball when we come back. We'll be right back, folks. When the power goes out, your life is disrupted. Heat, air conditioning, refrigeration, phones, all gone. Want to take back control? A Generac Home Standby Generator protects your home against power outages every second of every day, all year long, automatically, whether you're home or away. Control your power, control your life with a Generac Home Standby Generator. For a free estimate, call Schneider Sons Electric. 419-691-8284. They were cool, weren't they? Oh. We had some good toys back then. Wait, wait, were? I, they're not cool anymore? What am I? What did I miss? Oof. We have seen some uh, stout tackles on some uh, 
iffy footing tonight. And as I said in the first half, you want your pads in front of your shoes, not your shoes in front of your pads, because bad things happen. Well, there's just been a lot of uh, just straight-up hard hitting tonight on both sides. And that's that's what you want to see in a game that is important as this one is. First and ten for the uh, Eagles on there. Eastwood comes out and splits a receiver out wide to the left. 29-yard line starting off. That's a shed a tackle there. Nice game. 13-14 yards on first down. Well, that's Getz again. I'll tell you what, he's had a tremendous night tonight. And he's been able to do a lot of things. And another first down for the uh, for the Eagles. Four carries for 27 yards in the first half, so six yards a crack and a nice 11, 12-yard run there. Running those out routes, and uh, it, it's working real well for the Eagles. Here we go again, trying to turn the corner. A gain of about six yards. Run out of bounds by yeah, Mason Glaze right there. And well, you got to relieve that or uh, relieve four. reward that uh, motion back in this offense. Every now and then you got to throw him a bone because he does a lot of the dirty work up inside, and uh, a lot of times that's man on linebacker. Yeah, and uh, at full speed, which is not always a pleasant task. Under center, Nolte. There he is. Great lead, a, a great lead block. A first down carry by number 20, Justin Pickrell. Russell down by Russell. Glaze ahead the last carry. Gets out there and gets head up on the linebacker and frees up Pickrell for a first down run. I want to make sure you uh, all go over to the uh, Toledo Sports Network uh, website. We'll let you know who we're going to be uh, uh, following here in uh, in uh, playoffs. If we're lucky, we really got to have sponsors. Nice, nice Mason run. Glaze, Glaze again. The 40 yard line. Written down just, by Ross Bird. This reminds me of the first two drives of the first half. Just big again, chunks of yards and. Uh, We'll see if Rosford can make, Rosford can make the same adjustments they made midway through the first half because they, you know, they defense tightened up quite a bit as the half went on, and then Eastwood started to run that play action you were mentioning. Second and one right now. Lays in motion again. Boy, leading up inside. That's Pickerel. Yep. He's still going. Just that Pickerel. He, he took a three-yard run. run and turned it into what? 12. Yeah. By number 19, Lucas Remember in Tombstone where uh, he says, I don't think I'll let you arrest me today? Well, that was, I don't think I'll let you tackle me today. That's what that was right there. By the way, the best freaking movie ever. It's I up there. It. I, don't I, know if it, I don't know if it's that Oh, good. man, I could watch that movie a hundred times. I'll be your Huckleberry. <laughs> <laughs> Another first down here for the Eagles. They moved the ball. 30-yard line. Oh, right. Huge hole. Huge Touchdown. hole. We'll take that to the house. Mr. Pickerel again. and uh, He didn't have to break as much there. There was a giant hole in the middle. Well, we that's not the first time we've seen that hole tonight. And uh, he's just literally just been able to monopolize on that. And, you know, once he's breaking through and he gets through the first beefies, he's gone. Beautiful, beautiful run. And Jared McNulty will snap. And the kick is up. Kick is up and good. 10-13 left in this one right now. Eastwood is up. 28-17 on the Toledo Sports Network. Mike Jamison and Jamison's Mobile Music would like to talk to you about your entertainment needs for your upcoming wedding or special event. For over 25 years, Mike has made wonderful memories one event at a time. Professional sound and lighting and video for your special event. Call us today for an affordable package for your special day. 419-514-1302. Jameson's Mobile Music and Video. $326. Report to the press box. Hey, Marty, you might have won $300 tonight. 
I can't win because I didn't play. Oh, see, I didn't get here in time. Minute 47 on that drive. I but mean, you made you made a, a, a family very happy with getting their mortgage done today. Yes. There you go. That's what life's all about. Oof, boy. Generally, running lateral on uh, kicks is a bad idea, and there's some evidence of why. Yeah, I think uh, I think Eastwood was just sitting and waiting, uh, waiting for that one, so uh, made it made it a little bit on the tough side there. And Rossford's going to be starting out on the uh, second about the 18-yard uh, line, their own. Kicker's got a little different style; it's short approach, but uh, adjust the distances and the location nicely. And and it's kind of like a pitcher that's not just winging it by all the time, but uh -huh. mixes up his spots and his. Uh, First and ten for the Bulldogs. Kramenecker is going. Kramenecker. Boy, that little uh, that little fake. He's able to make a lot of things happen with it. Uh, you're going to get about seven, eight out of it. Second and three for the Bulldogs. You can see they've got the 25-yard uh, line. Playing off of Mr. Kroom again. Well, I don't think he got that. Well, sure did. Give it to him. Oh, they did. Yeah, they did. You know, both of these teams just can move the ball so well. And... Uh, well, they keep defenses off balance because they mix up the run and the pass. First and 10 here. About the 30-yard uh, line. Four receivers wide is most of their sets. Kramenecker's waiting, and now he's going Got long. He's going to throw it up. Oh, what a catch. Another one of those balls that says, here it comes, go get it. And, uh, Dylan Prater. Dylan Prater with a wonderful catch right there, about a 30-yard oh, uh, haul in. And and that was one of those balls where Kramenector threw it, and it was definitely a short ball, and Prater came back to get it, which he needed to do because he had two guys on him. Quarterback did a nice job buying time with his feet and extending that play. First and 10. Eagles 43-yard line. Right, maybe 38. 38, I'm sorry. Another design quarterback run and just about 10 on the play. Call it nine. Second and two here for the uh, Bulldogs. They're moving the ball, too. You know, both teams are moving the ball. Offense has certainly dominated tonight. Uh-huh. You come down to who's going to have it last. And the turnover battle. You, you just can't afford to turn over when these offenses are moving the ball like this. Oof. I almost, I almost, spo I almost <laughs> spoke too soon. You didn't even get it out, and it was almost a uh, interception right there. Well, I remember I said sooner or later those safeties are going to come up and jump that seam route, and uh, there he was. They did. That, that would have been uh, well advised to pump that and make a double move. Uh huh. Looking at uh, about third down and two, maybe three. I'm going to say two. See, and again, I think this is four down territory. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're down 11. I, mean, I understand it's early in the third quarter, but your defense has struggled to stop the Eastwood attack. Wide Seam open. Seam route in the middle. It's a great job focusing on making the catch and not worrying about what was going to happen around your legs. And uh, he has just been he has been really tough the whole game. He's gotten hit many times. At the 14-yard line, first and ten for the uh, Bulldogs. Yeah, both teams marching right down the field, and uh, somebody's going to have to make a stop. Got it. 
not much room Got there. Got about three. Nice, one. nice job by the yeah, linebacker. They're not biting on the uh, motion out by the tailback. Looking at about second and eight. Sniff that out and drop, got down to the box and uh, contained it pretty well on that one. I always loved those 50 50. I think if I won it, though, I would probably give most of it back. I was going to say, I consider that a donation because I don't win. I know. It's just, it's just I something. I just want to hear my name. You know what it is? It, you don't. It's a number. You don't hear your name. They don't even know who you are. Come on now. You know what 50, 50 tickets are at my house? Things to end up in the lint tray in the laundry. Because oh, you, you forget to take them out when you take everything else yeah. out. So two days later, you're doing the laundry, and there's the crumpled up surprise, surprise. remnants of the 50-50 tickets. That's what happens. And nine times out of ten, you probably just won the whole thing, and it's, it's you've ripped it up. So, No. No, I, I check them. All right, all right, all right. I'm with you. I'm but with I don't you. throw them on the ground. That's, 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 that's just rude. You see a lot of that. I don't like that either. Yeah, that's five bucks. You just want to give to the school, and you know, if you win it, you're going to give it back to them. You want your five bucks back, right? Yeah, here, take the 400. Just give me my five bucks. I'm cool. Third and eight. <laughs> Deep. He's got time. Oh, coming up. Right. Looks in the. Had, had his man and just couldn't quite thread it in there. All right, third and eight. Do you go for it? Well, this is interesting because I think you're in field goal range. It's an 11-point game. So that makes it a one-score game if you convert on the field goal. So I think here the – the the chart says kick it. Yeah, I think that's what they're going to do too. Yep, because it's a f touchdown and a two point conversion will tie it, so it makes it a you know it's a one score game if you convert this field goal. I think if it was fourth and one or two, you might you might call it a little different and trust Cromack or roll out and make a decision. But here, I I take the points. Snap, balls Snaps up, down. boy. He could have kicked that from sixty yards. <laughs> Well, wait, pump the brakes. There. It was, a, it was a, he hit it well, but I don't know about 60. <laughs> so the difference in the game right now, Mike, is that uh, Rossford had two trips down there and come away with two field goals, mm -hmm. and uh, Eastwood has converted all theirs with touchdowns. So the, the, the uh, high snap essentially was a turnover and then the interception on the first possession. But those eight points for the difference is the difference in the ballgame right now. Number eight gets kind of caught up back there. Well, there have been some uh, some kicks that have hung around the turf a little longer than you'd like if you're the uh, special teams coach. And uh, that, that'll, that'll uh, gray some hair from your uh, special teams coordinator. Yeah, some of these guys should be happy they still have hair, right? I suppose. I don't, I don't know. I, I, I saw a guy today on the uh, at a stoplight, and I was thinking he'd be better off with no hair. Oh, it was it was the worst comb over I've seen oh. in years. It was not good. That's not good. No. First and ten. Good hard run. Let's look at that. He's still, still going. Yeah. He's got Oh, pick roll. Nine on that. He's just unstoppable. There was a little attitude on that one. And then that stop was number fifty-four, Gavin Lincoln. About from number 22, Joey Bortoli. Second, Second one. And one. Beautiful night here in uh, Toledo Sports Shh. Network and W. Split the receiver out wide. Let's see if they go play action here. No, they don't need to. Coming around. No, but they've taken a couple shots tonight. It's, it's kept here. the Rossford defense off balance. Jason Glaze with the first down right carry. And again, he's done a lot of work lead blocking tonight, so it's nice to reward him a little bit. Yeah, Glaze has been the workhorse tonight. He's the clocker, as we call him. What did I say? I, I guess I called somebody the human defibrillator last year, last week. Somebody got a kick out of that. I don't know. I don't game. even know what your what that would mean exactly. There he goes again. Glaze. Glaze, yeah. Twenty-five, Mason Glaze. Glaze. And on the stop was number twelve, Ben Morrison. Nice block on that play by Austin Nissen and Blake Landis. First and ten, Eastwood ball at their own forty-three. I've been saying it a lot tonight. First and ten for
They have a way of doing it. Just well, both teams have moved the ball somewhat at will for a couple of possessions there in the middle of the second quarter. But uh, there's Pickroll. Breaking Moving the tackle ball. again. And Pickroll, six and a half, seven yards. Eventually forced out of bounds by number 22, Joey DeFortoli, and number 10, Dylan Prater. On second and four. A gain of six to bring up second down and four. The line of scrimmage is Eastwood, 49. So glad after all the crazy weather we've had this week that Friday nights turned into a beautiful night here. And uh, oh, there was a time yesterday where I was looking at the forecast and thinking, <laughs> Michael, if it looks like this tomorrow, I'm going to be really angry that you drug me out there. <laughs> Pickerel with the ball, he splits, and boy, he's going to get another first down. Pile of white jerseys on the ground that did, were not able to complete the tackle. You're going to have the ball first and ten at the Bulldog 42. I think it's, uh, the night gets a little older here, Marty, that, you know, uh, the defense is, especially Rossford right now, they're getting tired. And uh, it makes it tough for him, especially when they're just pounding as hard as uh, a pickerel can do. And Oh. Got about three yeah, on that three one, on second that effort. Yeah. I, that, but I think what you have to look at is if Eastwood goes down here and again comes away with a touchdown, unfortunately, Rossford just hasn't finished those drives. Right. You know, you can't trade touchdowns for field goals, especially when you're behind in the game. You're basic, basically only down one one score, you know, right. one score. So you, you have to hold Eastwood at this point, but uh, Eastwood's moving the ball so well. Oh, they stopped they him that time. Sniffed that one out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Oh. You know, that, that, that looks worse, and I understand the coach's frustration, but uh, as the guys are heading out of bounds, there's that track, uh, the carpet there, and it's really, really hard to stop your momentum in that area. In fact, I was watching guys slip on it earlier. Um <laughs> I understand the frustration, but I think I'd have kept the uh, hanky in my pocket as well. Third and 11. Oh, no. Now it's third and 10 again. Now there's their first stop for the uh, Rossford Bulldogs yeah, yeah. in the second half. That's huge, though. You know, again, it's a one score game. And if you're Eastwood, I think you got to punt here. Make them drive the length of the field. You don't really want to turn it over there. Third down and nine. Oh, I thought it was fourth and nine. I'm sorry. Oh, I did as well. It's fourth and it's, nine. I, th I think this is fourth down. I understand. It's fourth and nine. How wow. is this not fourth down? There you go. Something's right. Yeah, so this is, they, there's a whole lot of not correct on the down. The down box is wrong. I think the Eagles think it's third down, and I there was a there was a one yard gain on first down, and they lost it or three yard gain on first down. Excuse me, uh, and then uh, about a two yard loss on. Second down. It's fourth down. It's fourth down. I, I just don't understand what's going on here. The winner of that yeah, the Rossford staff is uh, quite animated, and they are correct. They missed a down while they were arguing over the uh, the extracurricular activity here by the bench. But there was a there was about a three yard run on first down. They ran a sweep out here, had the extracurricular, and then tackled them on third down. This is definitely fourth down. Yeah, fourth and nine. And Eastwood's going to go for it here. Interesting. This is an interesting choice. I, uh, yeah, we'll see where at the 40. A little reverse, and they got the first down. Holy cow, that is huge. No. I, I, I think they got the first down. What a call. What a gutsy call and an interesting play call on that, but I, I think he's got it, Mike. Boy, this this is a huge measurement yeah. here. I, you know, with 2.13 to go in the third quarter, this is a really, really big measurement. 
I don't know, man. I don't know if we're going to get to see it. We can see it up here. Oh, they got it. They got it big. It, 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 it looked to me a good half yard. That's, that is a huge conversion. What a gutsy call uh, on fourth down at that at that position on the field in a one-score wow. game. That's, that's just a gutsy call. Very, very. That could be a game changer right there. Oh, yeah, if you go down and get points here off of that, plus you're going to you know, probably run another two and a half, three minutes off the clock. Two minutes left to go. In the third. Uh, Pickerel is gone, and he tripped. Turf monster jumped up and said, "Boo!" Bit him on the shoe. He bit him on the shoe. I was going to call you butter maker there, kick, crack, cracking open the cans here. I'm allowed to drink them now because they're sugar free. First down carry there. That's a Wrapped up on the carry by number 22, Joey DeBortoli. 134 left to go in this quarter, third quarter. 28 20 Eastwood right now. Been a just clock running ball just inside the 20, so in the red zone. It's been all offense all the way around. It's just both teams. Pickerel following yeah, his blockers. It's going to come back. There's a hold there on the uh, on the guard. That warm embrace I was speaking of earlier. He forgot to light the fire. I don't know. That's going to bring it back a ways. It's a spot foul. Was that the 27? It'll be first and 17, I would guess. First down and 17. Thank you. Well, math has been one of my strongest, although I'm going to need the uh, Jameson Abacus out for what would happen in a tie as far as computer points. I'll need you, I'm going to need you to run that through the supercomputer that you bring along in the truck. No, I would have to say you're going to have to call Norm on that one because that's a Norm Waymer thing right there. I don't that, know. Would he be the one to figure that out for you? <laughs> yeah, I could forget that. Add two, subtract by four, multiply time, or divide by pi. I don't know. That's a that common core math, you know. I'm thinking about sub second and 14 here for the uh, Eagles. Nulty gets it to Pickerel. Pickerel he didn't get nothing that time. Oh, oh the there's ball's a fumble. Out. I think the ball's out and Rossford's got Rossford's it. Rossford's yep. got it. There's that turnover we were talking about. That is huge. 18 seconds left in the uh, third quarter, and Rossford will probably run one snap, and then we'll uh, – That was just, that was just, you know, it was a shoulder pad or a helmet right exactly. on the ball, and squirted out. He had good control of the ball. But it was pick roll, right? Yeah. yeah I think somebody somebody put a hat right on the ball. And it popped out. Well, I think we might maybe see some shenanigans here. Last play of the quarter. If a sack is a shenanigan, you just saw it. Yeah, you, you saw go. a shenanigan there. Yeah. That'll end the that'll end the third quarter. Yep. And, uh, it'll be second and fourteen when we come back to start the fourth quarter. Be right back, right here on the Toledo Sports Network. Twenty eight twenty Eastwood on top. Final quarter coming up. Yala Cole brings you the best hummus, kebabs, and gyros, along with other authentic and great tasting food from the Middle East. Yala Cole, the two words mean let's eat, and we hope that's what you'll be joining us for. Yala Cole in Rossford and Sylvania. 
Different problems require different solutions. Seagate Roofing and Foundation Services has been solving water problems for over 30 years. We have the expertise to provide you with the best solution. Seagate replaces foundations, straightens walls, lifts sinking foundations, and waterproofs basements. Get your free estimate before you make a decision because you deserve to have all the facts. We are the local experts. 244 Gate. All right. Getting ready to start the fourth quarter here. We got us a barn burner, folks. 28 20 is our score right now. Marty Ben along with Mike Jamison. Well, hopefully, you're having a good evening or afternoon, actually. It's been a very entertaining football game. Contrast the styles and. Uh, you know, a, a lot going on and fun to watch. Oh, wow, there's that seam route again. Beautiful. Yeah. That's Prater again. Well, they brought a receiver under, and again, they're using Groom to take the top off. First and 10 here, fourth quarter, 28-20, Eastwood on top right now. You know, if you're Rossford, you got to get some points on this. Oh, right. you got to do. Just you get, have to. Get something. Well, you'd like not to settle for another field goal. Kramenecker pumps, pumps. it. And hits the back underneath. Somewhere there's a coach that said uh, toward the end of the half there, that was the read we wanted you to make. Second down. And seven. Got about three out of that. Second and seven for the uh, Bulldogs. I mean, the one thing Rossford's been able to do all night is have sustaining drives. They have long sustaining drives where Eastwood hasn't needed them. I mean, they, they have a couple of really good running plays and then split one out on the side, and boom, they're gone. It's been like that all night for them. Well, I mean, look at Eastwood's defensive backs here. They're, they're not going to allow you to make the big throw. Oh, great job holding on to the ball there. Prater once again holds on to that ball, gets a first down right up the middle. And uh, these kids are getting, they're taking the hits, but they're holding on to the ball, and you're right. Well, but that's what Eastwood's giving them. I mean, yep. Again, look, the, the high corner here, he's at 11 and a half, 12 yards, and the corner on the bottom here is at nine. I mean, they're. It's, it's, this is just basic cover three, and they're saying we're not going to get beat over the top. Oh, Kramenecker's going long. Nothing there, to find though. Kramenecker's pass is intended for Tamari Kroom. Running step for step well done was Eastwood's number 10, Isaac Badenhoff. But, you know, down. he's got to have that much time to make that work with that cover three look because, it, you know, it's taken a couple, two and a half, three seconds just to get even with the DB. He needs about another by. second. He needs about another second if he wants to make those things happen. Well, but that, but as a defense, you're get betting that your guys can get home and keep that from becoming a reality. So again, we're sitting here in cover three and good little zone read. There's first down. Yeah. Permanent pass complete for first down number two, Jacob Shippert. Well, that's what that's what should be available against this, and you know I hate to preach, but sometimes you just have to take what the defense gives you, and just, you know, sustain the drives. Yeah. You know, unfortunately for Rossford, when they've gotten down inside the ten or inside the fifteen, they just haven't been able to. The windows tighten up a little bit, and the red then, zone's really been bad to them. Yeah, and they've had to settle for two field goals. I'm sure Kramenecker would like to get it done out here. He takes it himself. Another, Another first, first down. down. Yeah. In stereo. <laughs> I thought you were singing Harmony tonight. Oh. I thought I was. I was the background singer. I'm sorry. I'm uh, the, I don't know. Normally I'm the wedding singer. You know what people say when I sing? Sing solo. Oh. Solo, nobody can hear you. <laughs> Could not carry a tune in a bucket. Remember Steve Martin at the beginning of The Jerk where he's got no rhythm and whatever? I, I resemble that. Ah, uh, okay. I could play that character in my sleep. First and 10 for the uh, Bulldogs on the, uh, see what are we about, the 25? Got two receivers of the boundary. Run a stack uh, route. Ooh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know about that throw. 
He is uh, fortunate. Shifford never even saw that one coming. Well, I think they they saw something they liked with the uh, two receivers to the short side, and uh, he just kind of didn't really it up there. didn't really materialize. Packed house tonight. Uh, once again, Eastwood has just done such a phenomenal job. I, this place is one of my favorite places to come to. Number one, the best internet. They just they do a lot of stuff with Amplex, and it's just wonderful internet here. And we've got uh, timeout. Timeout. Rushford, their first timeout of the half. We'll be back right after this. Cleaning your gutters can be dangerous. Take it from Marty. For 30 years, I've been climbing up that ladder, cleaning out those gutters. One time, I leaned the ladder up there, and the feet were on the deck. The deck was a little wet. Next thing I know, the ladder kicks out, and I'm hanging by the gutter, and I start yelling for help. After that occurrence, I called Gutter Helmet. Call Gutter Helmet for an estimate. 419-475-0000. Get Gutter Helmet today, and you'll never clean your gutters again. Keeping you out of the gutter. We're the Gutter Helmet. Deb Hatcher and for all who work in the concession stand or so tickets this year. Thank you so much for all that you do. You know, they we saw something they didn't like there to head into that timeout, but uh, I think they had the matchup they wanted. They had Kroom down here, and there was uh, plenty of room to run that slant route. And uh, somebody didn't like something. So we've got trips left now, single receiver to the boundary. Oh, now he's going to pass. Fake the run and uh, buy some time with his feet again. And Oh, ah, flag. Well, you're going to have a roughing the passer call down here, I believe. There it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah, personal foul, roughing the passer. Kind of a foolish, foolish hit. Really, really didn't help and uh, him too. it was unnecessary. It happens in these games. I'll bring it up and it'll be first and ten. That used to be worth a couple laps. On Mondays? Or Sundays, actually. Sat no, Saturday after Saturday. film. Saturday after uh, film, you'd, yeah. you'd get out there and run your penalty. And it'd be snowing. Penalty, penalty, penalty laps for penalties. That's what we call it. And the big fellows always really like that. You know, they, they enjoyed that the most. <laughs> on the eight-yard line here. Yes? No, on the 12. You're right. You're right. Sorry. Ten, 10 plus two and not minus two. Cardinal Stretch, remember? I know. Sister Rosangela is still not she's, happy. Yeah, she's, she was one of my favorite teachers. My uh, parents graduated in the very first class there, and she was teaching there when they were there. So, Bachmeyer with it, and he's going to get about two. Second to about eight. Thank you. I, uh, you know, again, you you need to find a way to get the ball in the end zone here. Oh, you were doing that, and I thought something was crackling, like oh, electric snap. wise. I'm like, oh my god, something's. Breaking. I didn't feel like myself. I needed a Snickers bar. There you go. Yeah, I'm allowed to as long as my sister don't find out. Well, you know, the day after Halloween is the day where every kid and parent goes through the candy bag. That that was a one hopper that uh, yeah. was there. Brings up third and seven. And again, if they don't convert here on third down, you have a decision to make. You know, I think probably I'd take the points again, wouldn't you say? I don't know. Eight minutes to go? I don't know. I mean, the one thing that Eastwood is so good at doing is controlling the tempo of the game with the amount of time that they're going to run the ball. And uh, they've been able to do that all night. I think, you you know, this is four down territory here. Eastwood's going to take a quick one here, and we will too. We'll be right back. Stop struggling with the big box stores. Choose Gladio. A hardware store gets so much more. Your home improvement answer store. A place to design your interior space. A professional and friendly smiling face. Everything you need for your home. And Gladio is locally. I always like hearing that gladio, gladio. Because Ron takes good care of me. 
I have aren't you, aren't you his best. favorite charity? <laughs> <laughs> You should be saying the same thing. Oh, you guys love me. Shut up. What would you be doing? You'd be at what? Probably having a glass of wine, listening to some. No, good jazz when it's music. chilly, when it's chilly like this, bourbon would be involved. Oh, bourbon. Okay, yes. a little Maker's Mark. And I don't know if you. My do good, that. my good friend, Mr. Beam, and I. We have a right. we have a long history. I'm with you. Oh, I. Th- Wow, I think they're fortunate not to have had a flag there. The defender never got his head around. That is a the ball uh, actually hit him behind. Hit the ball. The ball hit him in the back. I, I think Eastwood is fortunate not to have drawn pass interference on that. Now again, Rossford's going to have to make that decision, and they're not bringing out the field goal. Either. Yeah, they they can't. This is fourth and seven. You got to go for it right here. Well, it's all coming down to this, folks. If you're a Rossford fan and Eagles got to really show them what it's worth. I I see Kramenecker running this. I don't know. I think I think the spy is in. He's got to throw it here. Oh, I think got he caught it. that touchdown. Yes. Touchdown. Threaded the needle oh, on the wow. rollout. What a play! Wow. Official was right there, a couple feet from it, and uh, got a good look. What? What'd they get? No, that was a touchdown. Yeah. Yeah, that was just over the goal line. Not a first down, but a touchdown. 28 26. Okay, what do you do here now? Well, you, go for, you gotta go for two. Right. I mean, one does you absolutely nothing. I mean, you know, and a field goal still wins the game if you need that later. So exactly. this is this is an easy one. The chart says, do exactly what they're doing. I think he got it. Oh, knocked it away. What a great defensive play. That look was there, but uh, the defender came in and ripped it out. 28-26. 8.40 left. We'll be right back. Graymont in Genoa, producers of doclamide lime and hydrate, serving the community for over 90 years. The plant currently has 60 employees. The safety and development of these employees is a focus for your plant. Over 80% of our employees currently live within 11 miles of the plant. Graymont. For more information about this company, you can check us out on the web at www.graymont.com. 28-26, 28-26 right now, Eastwood on top. They're going to have the ball with 8.40 left to go here in the fourth quarter. Mike Jameson along with Mr. Marty Bin from Fairway Mortgage. And, uh, Marty, I'll tell you, you know, this is that time, boy. If you want to get some things done and get ready for the holidays, you can put some, you can put together some really nice mortgage deals for people. It's uh, It's been an interesting fall. I, uh, the uh, trade battle with China is kind of – Push, push bond yields down, and yeah, and the Fed's loosened things up a little bit and uh, made for interesting and fun times. Eastwood takes it. Oh, just past the 30. Rossford's got to get a stop. Yeah, that was I mean, a that's, hag with the ball. And he's been, uh, on, uh, on the uh, returns, he's been really good for uh, Eastwood holding on to the ball. And right now, I, I think uh, Eastwood, well, they've been able to move the ball all night tonight, so I don't think uh, we're going to see anything different. Hopefully some changes have been made if you're a Rossford fan. Well, they had, had that turnover on the last drive, which yep. helped. And, uh, First and ten, they give the ball. Not much there. Two and a half. Brought down from behind by number 54, Gavin Linkus. And uh, Gavin Linkus, the cleaner, the fixer, he he closes hard and uh, very sound tackler. Getz is able to get a couple out of that. Second and eight. And I'm assuming at this point that uh, Eastwood's going to use every second of that uh, 30-second clock. You're not going to hurry. Yeah. 
Gets again. Yep. Coming around. Morrison slowed him up, and a couple friends came and helped finish him off. Maybe four. I'll say third. Third and four. Uh, this is when uh, Rossford's really got to stand their ground right here. A lot of good things can happen. It's getting real loud in this place right now. Multi with it. And he got it. Oh, the ball's fumble. out. And uh, what a uh, fortunate bounce for the Eagles. Is that the, uh, is that the Oakland Raiders bounce right there? The fumble, the uh, fumble ruski, <laughs> or no, the uh, the fumble forward. Yeah, yeah. Dave Casper. That Dave Casper. Dave you're right. Casper. I date both of us. Yes, yes, yes. There's a whole bunch of millennials out there going, what? What are you talking about? Who are those guys? Casper, isn't he a ghost? 1981, two. Are you where? What? Kenny Stabler, the sly snake with uh -huh. a sore knee. <laughs> Basically changed football. Oh, wide open. Oh. I did not know. I don't he think he caught it. It looked like he yeah. uh, looked like it bounced. I actually think had he kept running, it would have been a much easier catch. He stopped to jump and uh, I think that uh, took him off track just a bit. Second and ten. Boy, those play actions have been lethal all night though. They've they've had open receivers every single time they run it. I'll tell you folks too. Uh, we we if you can get some more sponsors into this, we can run second and third cameras with instant replay. It'd just be incredible. So if you'd like to help us out, 419-514-1302. Gets with it again. He gets around the corner. See? Very near first down yard. I think he's just short. Pick up third and about a half a yard, maybe a yard. Third down and two. They're saying two. That's the shortest six feet I've seen. That's Silver Moon Soda Grill over there on 795. We've got to thank them, 666-7425. Uh, being a part of everything we do, I really appreciate it. John and Adam and all the gang out there. Jay and I go over there and have breakfast at least once a weekend. Oh, oh big run. Oh, Mr. Pickerel and and very wisely stays in bounds. Yep, yep. That's a that's a senior that uh, understands the situation in the game and knows that keeping the clock running is very important. Big chunk of yardage and a, a new set of downs and keep the clock moving. Five fifty five, clock is moving and uh, first down and we got about the tw yeah we're on the twenty right on the twenty. It's always interesting when you see these games, uh, at what points the uh, officials halt the clock to move the chains and at what points they don't. Okay. I'm not saying that uh, right. it's inconsistent, but it is sporadic. Yeah, Pickerel roll once again, he was able to get about one or two. You notice that uh, the minute contact presented itself, he wrapped the ball up a little tighter that time. Second down and six. The next snap will take us under five minutes here. Eastwood's in no hurry, of course. I don't I don't see the I don't see time clocks or uh, clocks out there for the uh, Oh for the twenty five second yeah, I don't see it. It's in an official's very cold pocket. Oh, touchdown. So, Mr. Jameson, interestingly, this extra point is a big deal. Talk that, to me. Because that makes it a two-score game. There you go. So right now it's it's still a one-score game, so uh, you really need to convert this extra point to make it a two-score game with four and a half to go in the game. McDulty's done a really nice job holding the ball tonight. I hope I don't hex him. Uh-oh. 
I think another offsides. We have had a uh, literally a uh, avalanche of flags on extra points. Exactly. I, I don't know if That's I've seen this really many flags on extra points in one night. Uh huh. I think that's the second offside call. We had a procedure call. Oh, oh, we're going to have another one. <laughs> Goodness. Oops. Offside. Once again, by the Bulldogs. I just want to get in there. I think the, uh, the Bulldogs know how important this extra point is, and they're uh, trying to get a little, a little jump. That's huge. That is a huge extra point. Now it's a two-score game. And that means if you're Rossford, you've really got to hurry now. You, you know, you, you've you got to get up-tempo very, very – get right to the line of scrimmage and get it because you've got to get two scores out. So you, you, you just don't have much time to take. We'll be right back. Wojo's Heating, Air Conditioning, and Plumbing. Quality comfort you can count on since 1967. They're a proud sponsor of Genoa High School Sports and can help you with all your heating, air conditioning, and plumbing needs. Give them a call today at 419-693-3220. 35-26 is our score right now. I want to give thanks out to the great people over Heeman Murphy. Lewandowski, with over 100 years of combined legal experience, are proud to offer unparalleled legal representation to the residents of Toledo, Lucas County, Wood Counties, and surrounding communities in Ohio. And they're right over there on 200 Dixie Highway in Rossford. Thank you so much. As they kick it off here to the uh, Bulldogs. Croom on the return. Uh -oh. I'm just going to cut the corner. Boy. Oh, oh, he went outside. He stepped out of bounds. He's not happy. Very fortunate. Because yeah. uh, if Mr. Krim gets out of there, it, it was uh, he was gone. It was going to be a foot race. Also, big thanks to Ryan Buckman and the Strategic Farm Marketing. 217-356-0046. Crop insurance, marketing, and brokerage. And a... Uh, Proud supporter of uh, Eastwood football here, and uh, right now they're on top, 35-26. Well, you're Eastwood, you're going to sit back in your cover three. You're going to let them throw it underneath and try and tackle them inbounds and keep the clock moving and uh, shorten this up. And it's a two-score game. Uh, Jacob Shefford, uh, just a little, wasn't tall enough on that one, just, just on the sco sco sh shorter side. It'll be second down in 10. See what they've got here. Yeah, trips left. That's a there's wide that, open. There's that seam route, oh. and uh, again, sometimes it's just too easy. Yeah, Prater had it. Yeah, that was uh, that's right, like what you're looking for. Trips, life. trips left again. Big third down here. Going to run the jailbreak screen, and there's plenty of room there. Ooh, I, oh wow, he's still, still going. This is Bachmeyer. Yep. A late flag, though. Well, this is interesting because this could be an eligible man downfield if they are saying he didn't catch it behind the line of scrimmage. So on that screen, because the lineman released, the ball has to be caught behind the line of scrimmage. And we'll see, because they're talking, I thought he was behind the line of scrimmage. I really did. In fact, based on where the flag is, it's very interesting what they're discussing here. The Rossford coaching staff, of course, has an opinion that it was clean. I, sure. No coach is ever not sure of that in this moment. Never. Oh, they're waving it off. There you are. Whoa. I, that must be exactly what you said happened then. I, I, I agree with picking it up. I thought he was just behind the line of scrimmage. And, you know, they run enough of those jailbreaks, you'd like to think that 
they know where they're supposed to be. But most, you know, sometimes. First and ten for the Bulldogs on the. Uh, well, that penalty goal. would have been a loss of down as well, so it would have made it fourth down. And the clock's running, which. Oh, it's because they picked up the penalty. 34. Oh. Yep. No, 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 they picked up the flag. Kramenecker no gets a nil. Oh, my goodness. So, again, I think if you're Rossford, you got to go right to the line of scrimmage here and, and immediately have a play called because you've got to get a stop after this to win this football game. Wind the clock. 39, first and 10. Kramenecker right to the line of scrimmage. That was Sprinsky with that catch. Hey, he's going long. He's got a guy. Got a jump ball in the end zone. And he got it. Out of the end zone. He was out of the back of the end zone. A little, little too far. I'll stop the clock. Second and ten for the Bulldogs. Kramenecker. There's that jailbreak again. And uh, Same person. Bachmeyer with it again. Basically the same play. Oh, he broke That's a tackle why. there, and he's, uh, he's going to get tackled into the end zone. Touchdown. That's a touchdown. Touchdown, Rossford. A touchdown pass from Kyle Kromenegger to number 24, Trent Bachmeyer. Mayer. Okay, so now again, the chart is clear here. You kick the single, and then they uh been a disappointment. You Leave sure me. know how to make friends, Leave don't you? Leave me alone. I, uh, these are facts, Mike. There you go. Up and good. See, he's got plenty of leg. That's that's just good Eastwood. clock management there. Score, Eastwood, 35, Rossford, 33. 35-33 is our score with 3-11 left to go in this contest. We'll be right back with more. Stop Don't look like all he's going to do that. You've got two timeouts. And uh, you gotta have, if you're Eastwood, you have to have the hands team in. You, you don't have any choice in that. And uh, they're going to oh. try and hit somebody. And oh. the ball squirts loose, but he manages to cover it up. And there are people all over Toledo grateful that you just mm -hmm. said that. Mm -hmm. All seven of our listeners. <laughs> Pick roll it again. I, Marty, I'm telling you, he's going to break another one. Chunks of yards. He just has the way. Well, you, you, but if you're Rushford, you have to find a way to get a stop. Yep. Another first down. At their own 47. Only used about nine seconds of the clock, got himself out of bounds, and uh, probably didn't want to get out of bounds, but. Uh, well, but with a new set, new set of downs, it's sort of irrelevant in that case. I give it to Pickerel again, right up the middle. There he goes. Another, another first, first down. down carry by number 20, Justin Pickerel, 42. 2.45 left. And counting. running, yes. And they're waiting it out. Yeah, I'm, I'm shocked here that... Uh, Rossford hasn't decided to burn a timeout to keep that from happening. First and ten. Boy. He just does not want to be tackled. Justin Pickrow to the Rossford 35 yard line. Wrapped up over there by number two, Jacob Schiffer. There's that first timeout. Second timeout. Timeout, Rossford, their second timeout of the half. 208, second and about three and a half, four. More like One there. more first down, and this is yeah. victory formation time, Mr. Jameson. Thanks for having me out tonight. Man, I love having it with you, dude. You, uh, you, you, you help us out. You know, it, it's always funny because, you know, I make – I made two dollars a week doing this, and I spend three. And uh, you're, you always take you're you. You got it that close these days. <laughs> I thought I thought you were inspired by our national <laughs> deficit. You know, you know <laughs> don't worry about it. I'll pay. You know, that's the, the, you know you're right. I'll that's, gladly pay you later. That's right? the good thing. I mean, we we don't have a lot of monstrous debt other than Dave Truman. But well, that's you know, that's that's. A, I thought you got a tax credit for that. I do. Okay. I do. Does I, Dave know? 
Well, I actually I get Medicaid because of Dave. I think. Okay. Uh, Dave's a really good guy. He'll be on the radio show tomorrow. We'll be live out at the uh, Jameson Estates if the electricity's still on. As they give oh, the ball to Pickerel, and goodness, that should decide it. And again, just a smart move, bouncing it back inside, stay in bounds, and uh, I think it's pretty much academic at this point. Well, that's uh, what a, what a, what a great football game, you know. And I don't want to take anything away from Rossford. I mean, they they played they their played hearts out tough. Well, the, and they're you know what? They're not they're not completely out of the playoff race here. Well, and when you watch this game back and you're watching film tomorrow, you're going to realize those two field goals instead of two touchdowns. Either either one of those is a touchdown, and this is a different look right yeah, now. And Eastwood's trying is. to drive down for the winning score instead of preserving and you know kind of icing it here. Now both of these teams played real well. They'll uh, Eastwood will be uh, more than likely hosting. A game here. I think this pretty much seals that they would host yeah. next week. So, uh, and you don't know uh, with uh, with Rossford yet. Uh, stay up on our website at ToledoSportsNetwork.com, and uh, and hopefully we'll be able to put some spots. See, the the real bad thing for us is uh, OSHAA fees that take us well over a thousand dollars for a game. And uh, so we got to make sure we have some really good sponsors in here. And uh, we would love, we would love to do this game for Eastwood, Rossford, both, you know, anything in the Northern Buckeye Conference. But we got to have some pretty heavy duty names behind us to do it because we have to pay a lot of money out to make sure of it. It's amazing. It's just amazing. Ah, there's that first Victory drop. formation. Yeah, that'll do it. Bringing up second down. Well, Marty, it's uh, been a wonderful, wonderful game. I know we've got basketball coming up here in a couple of weeks. Uh, we're going to be doing at least 80 games this year. And so we're going to have a lot of basketball and uh, looking forward to that and still looking to put sponsors together for that too, folks. So uh, hopefully uh, we'll, we'll kind of have an idea of what's going to be going on here in the next few. And, uh, and both uh, – Eastwood will be playing next week, and uh, there's a chance Rossford still might be playing too. A couple more snaps, and this will uh, be in the books. Again, a great, great football game. And uh, kudos to both teams. You know, good offensive play design by both coaching staffs. And uh, well, I got to tell you, I, I, I am so happy with. Uh, some of the, the the great play that has happened here in the Northern Buckeye Conference. Uh, you know, these teams play their hearts out. And, uh, you know, Rossford with the new stadium this year and uh, playing as well as they have. Kramenecker played wonderful. The whole team well, played great. I was going to say, thank you for having me out to watch what could be his final game because right. he, he's been a part of my family for since I remember. He, he and my youngest son have been friends since kindergarten. And uh, great young man and fun to watch. Well, folks, we're kind of tight on time here. Once again, our final this evening is 35-33 Eastwood on top. And, uh, Marty, I, I once again thank you for being a part of this, and hopefully we'll get you part of basketball too. I'm sure you wouldn't have any problem doing that. I'm terrible at all basketball. You would be fine. I'm, I'm mediocre at football, and I'm absolutely terrible at basketball. <laughs> that's, just a, that's just a fact. <laughs> well, we appreciate you being part of the Toledo Sports Network. And, uh, folks, keep track. Go to the website, ToledoSportsNetwork.com, and we'll let you know where we're going to be at and what we're going to be doing in the next couple of weeks. Your final again tonight, 35-33. Eastwood takes the NBC, and they beat Ross for tonight. Folks, we will talk to you very soon. Have a wonderful weekend, and thank you very much for watching Toledo Sports Network.